And it's time for part two. So once again, today we're just gonna be getting some monkey XP. Last time we left off and we got all the XP to unlock all the bomb shooters. So we need to finish off the ice monkey now, which to be honest is probably my least favorite monkey. So I've been putting this off for a while. We found that the best map to do it on is this map right here, balance. And we're probably going to do medium difficulty because I don't want increased prices. We're already getting limited. And let's put down our ice monkey and let's start going through the rounds. And let's start in the center here on our permafreeze, which for those of you that don't know is a 042. Now permafreeze is kind of misleading. What it actually means is that once things get in this area, it's basically impossible for them to leave unless they have a really high speed or if they're immune to being frozen like white balloon zebras, moabs, that kind of thing. And we struggled last time with white balloons and moabs. So what we're going to do this time is use our mortar monkey because we definitely need XP for it. We do not have enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one mortar monkey probably somewhere along here. It doesn't really matter. And he's going to just be to take out the whites, the leads, and any of the moabs because moabs are going to be a huge issue for us. I think once again we're going to use Ben because we just really need that money, especially early game like right now. He's taking care of everything for now, but he won't forever and we really need to make sure that we have enough money to afford everything. Also, I'm just saying it would be kind of cool to see another Paragon added into the game and I know a lot of people have been talking about what that would be. Glue Gunner, I mean, has some cool ideas. You have the Bloon Solver, the Super Glue, the Glue Storm. It's an idea. I mean... Huh? And let's try to save off on the mortar. Obviously, if we get the mortar right now, it's going to steal a lot of the pops. And I am pretty sure, do not quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the way that monkey XP shares work is that the more money you spend on a monkey, the more XP it gets. So we want to make sure the majority of our money is being spent on this. And right now where it's a 022, doesn't really have a lot of money. So we'll probably get Arctic Wind and then we'll get down our uh, mortar. And there's the arctic wind that's really gonna help out okay and there's the mortar let's place it down in the middle here looking at upgrades i think we're gonna go for a 024 because we do want the shattering shells ability which is gonna help with moabs it is 10,000 though that's gonna that's expensive let's do rapid reload because we yeah i'm going back and forth myself sorry but i think the reason we're going to go with rapid reload over balloon buster is that shattering shells is for moabs this is just for moabs and white balloons so my thought process is it doesn't really matter how many layers it goes through if it's firing faster it's going to do the most damage to moabs maybe i'm dumb but that sounds right to me and let's see if we can survive without the sniper monkey we cannot survive without the sniper monkey. Wow. That was instant too. That's crazy. Let's get snowstorm. So we have our permafreeze monkey now. You can see everything that goes in there just kind of dies. Especially with our mortar aiming directly at it. I feel like the mortar was actually a good play. Let's add another ice monkey up here and let's do... Uh, 204. Okay, well, here we go. Let's try first without the sniper. Okay, so not even close. Let's figure this out. Okay. What other monkeys do I need XP on? I have the heli pilot. I know I need the monkey sub. We don't have enough for a first strike, but we could do a ballistic missile. Why don't we do that? Let's sell this. Now let's do maybe advanced intel. Um, advanced intel won't help a ton. So we could do airburst, but airburst. Mm. Five minutes later. Okay, we can't afford it. Let's go with advanced intel. Let's see how that works. Okay, we got it because of Ben, but that is still way too close for comfort. Why don't we try adding another mortar while I'm thinking about it? Let's put it over here just so that we don't cram over there. Let's use a shell shock and burning stuff. 
Once again, aim that at the center. Because we want more XP for these as well. They just didn't cost enough to be worth it. And also, Shell Shock stuns things, which is going to be extremely useful. Because everything kind of just relies on slow damage. It takes a while, you know? Okay. We can now afford our absolute zero. So, let's, let's see here. Ability is so cold, it freezes all regular balloons for longer, including white zebra and camo, slows mob class longer, and greatly increases the attack speed of all ice monkeys. That sounds good. Ah, oh, but Icicle Impale would really help with mobs. Let's save for an Icicle Impale. Let's get Icicles while I'm thinking about it. I don't know why I didn't. And we can afford Icicle Impale. Perfect. 28,500. Why is it less? Like, on this menu, it says it's 30,000, but right here it's 28,500. I don't think I have anything that's lowering the cost. And, okay, we were able to take down mobs. I was hovering over the ability, but we didn't even need to use it there. Slow things down. This costs 28,5. We sell this. We're up to 24, 26, 28. We could sell everything and get it, but these are taken care of... Hmm, is that worth it? No, I think we can just save up. Moabs are scary, but we can take them down. That is so close. They're leaving the circle and barely dying. Oh. Come on. There we go. Icicle impale. Just in time, too. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. We can now sell this because we don't want to focus on that XP. We just want to unlock all these first. And we're at 14,000, so not too far off. Let's start working on a Super Brittle, because why not? Uh, for Super Brittle, what would be the best cross path? Probably 520? I'm not sure. I'm going to go with 520 and act like I know everything. Just kind of follow this in my lab. And let's change it back. We did it. Round 60. That's actually pretty cool. 11,000 cash generated. That is obviously thanks to Ben here. Let me tell you, once we have all the stuff for the ice monkey, I don't see myself using it very much. It is not my favorite monkey. I mean, to be fair, it's doing really well. But also to be fair, I feel like if I'd spent this much money on any tower, it would be doing just as well. I'm gonna get some Ice Monkey fan club people in my comments that are just like, Oh, the Ice Monkey's amazing. It's, I mean, it's okay if you like it. I don't, you know? Everybody has their own preference. And I think while these balloons are getting destroyed, I think it's once again time for me to take a moment to advertise for myself. And that is that I have a Discord. And it's absolutely amazing. The community there is great. So if you guys do want to see more content and... You just want to have people to talk to, anything like that, join the Discord. The link should be top link in the description. Oh, and we finally have enough to afford Absolute Zero. So that is all the Ice Monkey complete. I am so done we're over with that. Let's get out of here. So that's all the XP for the primary monkeys. Now we just need to finish up with the militaries. We're, we just have the final upgrades for the monkey sub. That's honestly not all that bad. And... We have the Paragon, which is just going to take a lot of time grinding, and the Mortar. So let's find a good water, like half water, half land map. And for that, I'm thinking either Lotus. Well, we want a harder map. We want a map that's harder so we get more XP. We could do Flooded Valley, honestly. Flooded Valley has a a really good amount of water. Let's do medium difficulty on Flooded Valley. And then we'll do a sub here and sub here for the beginning. That should take care of everything for the first little bit. And then we'll do mortar monkeys, kind of just like aiming here and here. And then we'll fill up the rest of the screen with subs and upgrade them with advanced intel. Maybe we just go for monkey subs first and get them out of the way. Let's maybe do that, because I'm going to use the monkey subs a hundred times more than I'm going to use the mortar monkeys. Uh, best start path would have to be probably a 202 for what I'm doing. 
and then we'll do another here. We'll try to get like infinite range coverage using the advanced intels. That's like my goal. Yep, and all of those now are good. There's infinite range through this track. As soon as we get this one with advanced intel, at least. Now let's start on Ben, because I forgot to get Ben down. I always forget about him. I'm so sorry, Ben. Can I just say real quick, you guys don't know because I'm going to edit all of this down, but this recording has gone so much smoother than my last one. My last one took me absolutely forever to get out of the, the bomb shooter. It was a pain. And dying with the ice monkey because I couldn't wrap my brain around white balloons can't get frozen was the worst. So this recording just so much better. Figuring things out has been a breeze. Okay, and let's start with the mortars. I don't think it really matters where we put them. Oh, first monkey sub upgrade. Sub commander, or... Okay, so let's look at what these actually do. Extra pierce and damage to the commander, and all subs in its radius. I wonder if you do a 205, if that, if that means all subs, because its radius is included. Uh, let's do the sub commander for now. I mean, we'll get all the XP back eventually. And yeah, that's honestly not a bad targeting. We need to upgrade some of these though. We are losing lives. Damos! Okay. Damos, submerge and support. We'll have to do one here as well so that we get as much ammo range coverage as we can. Let's try to place these well something like that there's just a small gap now we can we can handle that we die here we might die here we don't die here okay leads heat tip darts okay we really need to get that there we go now let's set this one to target strong so it should be shooting at those even though these are closer yeah so it'll take care of leads for the little bit that we have. And let's honestly just do that for both of them. Now we can swap this back first. Let's slow things down. Let's get another one of these down. Once again, signal flares. The reason I'm doing signal flare is because signal flare gets rid of camos. And camos are kind of an issue. Let's upgrade this one to be our Bluntonium reactor. And cross-pathing with it, I don't know how cross-pathing works. Further enhances Bluntonium Reactor. This one allows it to pop LEDs. Does that carry over? Oh yeah, look at that thing go. That's crazy. Okay. We don't- Oh, we did kill the mob. Okay, I didn't need to exit out. Okay. I was just on my guard in case. Moabs are kind of terrible with this. So... I don't know if this is going to be able to take down when tons of Moabs are on the screen. So, we could do a Moab shove. It's 3,000. I think that's... We'll put it, like, kind of rotating from here to here. I think that's really our only choice, because we're going to die otherwise. Ballistic Missile is also a good idea for something to use. Oh, we didn't even have Armor Piercing Darts. Let's do that first. Bigger Jets... IFR. Okay, I'll have it there. If we don't end up needing it by round 50 or so, I can sell it, but I want to keep it just in case. We can now unlock Energizer. Ah. I don't know if we get Energizer or Preemptive Strike. They both cost the same amount of in-game money. I feel like Preemptive Strike is just going to be more useful for us than what we're doing. As soon as we get down Sub Commander, though, I, I feel like we shouldn't have to be as worried because it does all subs in its range, which in this case is zero. Okay. There might be an issue. We have to strike. Let's unlock that. So, also we unlock something for Mortar Monkey. That's nice. Artillery battery. We'll do the sub commander and then we'll kind of just fill in its radius with 203s. So, we'll probably end up selling those eventually because I don't like the placement. I do wish that Bluntonium Reactor had a way of like transferring pops into cash or something i feel like that would kind of suit what it does because these monkeys are like all around 
really good, don't get me wrong, but they don't really have a way... Okay, we survived that. They don't really have a way of generating a lot of cash, which, I mean, sure, they're not really made to, but it would be nice if they had something. Anyways, there's a subcommander. Sell those. Hot keys X. Now, two, zero, three. We'll just literally fill up everything over here. And we're honestly looking pretty solid. This is not bad. Not bad at all. I do want to get down some first strike capabilities. So let's start saving up for those. XP, we're about halfway. And speaking of, there we go. Also, this is getting buffed by the Bloomtonium. What is it that's getting buffed? Oh, cooldowns. Okay. Right, because it has a cooldown, it has 15% less cooldown. Oh, that works even if there's no mobs on the screen. Interesting. Gotta be careful about that then. And about to be able to afford our next first strike. There we go. Let's check XP one more time. Oh, I, I think I just clicked it. So there we go. That's all of them. I do want to kind of see if this can defeat a ZOMG, so we'll go until then. Okay, and round 80 is coming up, so the moment you've all been waiting for. And round 80. And we killed it. Okay, well that was kind of a letdown. But let's go to the home. So we finished off all of the primaries. We finished off the monkey sub. We have quite a bit of the XP now for the mortar monkey, from where we started at least. And we haven't started on the Monkey Ace, so next time we'll finish up the Mortar Monkey and start on the Monkey Ace. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe. Like I said, check out the Discord. Link should be top of the description. I'll see you guys next time.